video, I'm going to show you how to get an additional 20 rear wheel horsepower out of a V6 Camaro. So let's get started now. Tracy Lewis puts out a product called an intake manifold spacer, and this is it right here. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to take off the engine cover. We're going to take out the um, the ram air system that I have, and we're going to take off the intake manifold, and we're going to put this in between the intake manifold and the block. Now, what this does is it actually keeps it does two things by raising it the intake manifold off the block not being metallic it's actually kind of like a resin and uh keeping it up higher it's going to keep the air cooler that cooler air translated directly into horsepower and on a stock engine it equates to about 20 horsepower at the rear wheels according to tests that tracy lewis has run so today we're going to take this and we're going to put it in uh, the car i'm going to show you how to do it um, i've got some information on i did some testing basic testing on what um, what kind of the intake temperature was uh, I do have some but I did some more today it actually is in the 70s today and I was noticing even just driving around at low rpms I was seeing a 15 degree difference between ambient air and the intake uh, temperature so um, you know it's only 70 and i wasn't really pushing it so i think this actually really will be a help in this car i was i was a little skeptical now the difference is is if you have an air box over here and you're running that long pipe to go into the intake that's a lot of time inside the engine bay the engine bay is about 200 degrees and you're warming up that air so this helps um with mine i'm pulling air directly in from the grill it comes in there's actually a deflector behind the grill in front of the radiator which shoots air up across the top hits the 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 top of the hood and this gasket helps drive all the air into the air filter and right into the the intake manifold that's a big benefit and is a lot cooler than a cold air intake that's over there even if you're pulling it out from the side it's just too much time underneath there um, so that I wasn't I was kind of skeptical that this would work But after seeing today in the 70s and measuring my air temperature, you know I'm averaging 1500 rpm just driving normal at 45 degrees and it's still a 15 degree difference So I'm really anxious to see if this might give me some power So let's get started on how to install it get started. You want to remove your oil cap And just pop off your engine cover and then make sure you replace the oil cap so that nothing gets in your oil. Next, you want to pop these open. With a trim tool makes it easier, easiest, so that you can get this back cover off as well. So I'm going to show you all where the bolts are. Uh, you take off your, your cold air intake or your, your intake. Um, there's a bolt right here you need to remove. There's one here. You got to take this out and you got to take this off. Okay. Uh, you got four bolts here and, and the five on top. And then there's another one down in the back. Um, it's easier to get from the driver's side, but it's right there. Okay. So those are the bolts that need to and this is coming apart so i'm going to go ahead and remove those and we're going to uh, get that out of the way i'll let you know if i find anything else that needs to be removed in the meantime okay so here are the six bolts i pulled out these four go in the middle this one goes in the front this is the one that's in the back so the shortest one goes in the back the middle one size one goes in the front and the four go in those deep ones in the center in a, uh, a box pattern all right, now you can see this is really loose. So we're gonna figure out how to get it out of here into the next step. We got enough out that we can get it up high enough that you wanna get this gasket out. That's your goal. Get this gasket out and you wanna put it on this side of the part, okay? So now you have the gasket on one side and you have gaskets on the other. And what we're gonna do is slide that right back in there. I 
actually I'm gonna get the got the new piece in first see if we can get that lifted up higher see if he, as high as he can that's it Can you lift up that back side on yours, the driver's side? I think that's where it's caught. Yeah, it's going in the hole. It's in the middle. It's in the I gotta get on that side. Oh, shit. What'd you drop? A ring. A ring? The, the, the. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay, let, let it down gently. Let it down. I'm gonna try and lift the back just to give it more room. All right, lift it up again. I want to make sure it's seated right. Well, the screw should do that, shouldn't it? Well, yeah, but I want to make you want to make sure that the it's going to be the see this piece here. I'm making sure I want to make sure that in the back I think there's another one, mm -hmm. and I don't want to it to make a hole. Okay, let it down all the way. Um, let me actually get it down there. Not sure I want to be I want to be absolutely positive I'm, I'm getting it right I don't want to run into a problem I'm gonna take the extra time to just double check I think it looks good but let's be sure I don't want any leaks See, there's a leak right there. Can you see that? Yeah. That would leak. Here's my concern. It's this when I reach that. Don't worry. See, now it's seating better. Once I clamp that down in there, that'll look good. Looks good down over there. Once I screw it in, that'll that'll all seal it up, which is what I'm looking for. So take your time, do it right, keep double checking. I'm really happy with the way it's fitting now. All right, so there we go. The reinstallation is the same thing. It's gonna be one bolt back here, four bolts here, one bolt here, put your pieces back in. Um, now, Alan had said he's worried about this piece. Um, We'll look at that, and uh, if I find something out, I'll let you know. But I'm thinking I'm going to need to loosen this bolt, get it in place, and we'll, we'll figure it out once we get it down. Bolt back here. Leave it in. Loosen it all the way up, but leave it in. I had to remove the part so that I had space to get this back under. But as long as it's in there, once I get it back under there and everything, that'll be easy to get. If I When I had it out in that extra space, that wasn't working. Done. A couple things I want to tell you about. This here it was supposed to go in there. It doesn't fit that extra space lining up. I can't get it to line up. So it's, you know, it's just another piece of hold to the one. So that's the only real issue I had that, but you look at the space here, there's a quite a bit of space into there. That's what gives it the ability. If you look at the old cars with the, um, the, the carburetors and things popping through the hood a lot, it's a high rise manifold. It's to draw in cold air, keep the air cold up there where it mixes with the fuel. That's kind of what this is doing on a fuel injection car. Um, it does sit quite a bit higher and that's what we're looking for. And like I said, it'll help keep this piece cooler. Um, and that's what provides the 20 uh, rear horsepower, the additional 20 rear horsepower. So uh, looks like I forgot, make sure you're double checking everything to make sure everything's plugged in where you are. Um, I'm about to put back on. I, I did test fit. This does not lock anymore, but the rest of it's fine. Um, so that, that's kind of it. That's it. We're going to test it out now. As you can hear, it started right up. Just went off of its cold start um, cycle. Uh, no check engine light. That's what we're hoping for. So I'll uh, drive it home. And uh, as long as we don't get a check engine light, we'll be good.
But there you go. That's how you install the Tracy Lewis intake manifold spacer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified when we have another video and we'll see you next time.